everybody. I hope you are doing well. Bailey Pop here. And today we are going to be talking about the ultimate princess celebration line. Let's go. All right. I already collected the first four from this line. Um, I'll throw a picture right here of the three I currently have in my position. Well, actually, they're currently in Florida, but um, I'm also going to be picking up Tiana. I wasn't originally going to be picking up Tiana and here's why. I made a whole post about it on my Instagram. If you want to check out my Instagram, it is bailey.pop, by the way. I post a lot on there. Um, you get to see my little adventures that I don't always get to post here on YouTube. Um, but I wasn't originally going to collect this um, first Tiana pop because I was like, I don't know how many they're actually going to make of this line, um, even though I really like the boxes and I really like the whole pedestal idea that they're doing with these princesses. Um, I only really collect Belle. I don't know how many of these I actually want to collect. Um, but then with this new wave that has just come in that we're about to talk about, oh my gosh, I'm just going to go ahead and get it. <laughs> um, but I actually do really quickly want to talk about that pop specifically because I don't think they did it justice. I think they could have done way better and I think they kind of used her dress as an excuse to not vamp up her I guess little pedestal more and they had so so much they could have done with that pop and it actually makes me genuinely sad which is why I wasn't originally going to collect it um but now seeing everything else that comes out I want to complete this set so I'm gonna go ahead and pick it up um there were a lot more left in the store than I was anticipating I think mainly because it's kind of an underwhelming pop and it makes me sad to see um but I do have the original Aurora Ariel and Jasmine from the original um, set of four. And now we have so many new ones. Let's start with the commons. We now have a Snow White um, with her little, I guess they're woodland friends. Um, I feel like most of them have woodland friends that are some of the original Disney princesses. So we have Snow White, we have Cinderella. Then we also have Pocahontas, we have Rapunzel, and we have Moana. Um, before we move on to the exclusives, let's go ahead and talk about these five. Oh my gosh, they are so much better than I was anticipating. Um, I love that the little turtle they have with Snow White. I love that they took the time to accurately represent the different skin tones um, in each of these princesses. For ex example, Snow White is um, much, much paler, um, than Rapunzel and Cinderella. Um, Moana's skin is much more of a red tone and Pocahontas is much more of an orange tone, which skin tone matters. Um, at least to me, I do a lot of art. I do a lot of makeup. Um, and I like that they took the time to do that detail. Um, the hair with all of them spot on. It looks so great. Um, especially Moana's and um, Pocahontas's kind of flowing in the wind, um, either with the wave or with the colors of the wind um, swirl that's going around Pocahontas. It is really, really great. Um, the only one that I would say I'm probably underwhelmed by is actually Rapunzel a little bit. I feel like she isn't very different from the other Rapunzel pops that are out there so far. Um, I do like her little base stand. I think it's cute. I think it represents her tower very well. Um, I do think it's kind of another excuse though, where they used the princess themselves to kind of be lazy <laughs> with the pop. Um, I'm glad they actually glammed up that pedestal a little bit more to kind of make up for it, but I still don't know if it actually makes up for it. Um, I think that's probably the laziest one out of this entire set, um, of five. Um, I like that they have Cinderella sitting down reading her book. Um, does she have a little, she has her little mouse buddies there. Oh my gosh, what are their names? Oh, I used to know their names. I can't think of them off the top of my head. Gus Gus and, oh, Gus Gus and, I can't remember the other one's name, but one of them's name is Gus Gus and it makes me very happy. That's not his actual name though. He has an actual name that's not Gus Gus and Gus Gus is his nickname. Anyway, um, we can see that Moana has her little chicken there. I can't remember his name either. I feel so bad. Um, they also have Pascal with Rapunzel. They have the little raccoon um, buddy and a bird um, with Pocahontas. Um, and they also have a little bunny accompanying Snow White as well. Um, overall, love this common set and I will definitely be picking them up. 
Before I move on to the next set, I do also want to mention I really like how they chose to use the wave in Moana's base stand. Um, that is a very important part of that entire movie. And it's very hard to make a pop representing the ocean. And the way they did that with this pop, um, it brings a whole different element of the movie that you don't get to really see because you don't really consider the ocean a character, but it de definitely played a very main part in the movie. And I'm so happy they included that in her pop. Now let's look at the four exclusives. We have two Funko exclusives, a box lunch exclusive, and a diamond hot topic exclusive. Um, I want to say that one of them is actually metallic. Is that considered metallic? It doesn't say metallic, but it definitely looks it. Let's start at the top. We have Pocahontas, um, and it's kind of just her without her base stand, being honest. Um, the wind itself looks a lot more translucent, um, more of like a clear kind of plastic, more of like an opaque kind of look. Um, and they have more of the flowers going through her hair, kind of like when she's standing up there um, in Colors of the Wind. It is a very pretty pop. The entire movement of the pop is very nice. Um, I like I like it a lot. I don't think it's much different from her original, but I do like that they did it. And that is a Funko um, Shop exclusive. We also have at the Funko Shop a metallic um, Snow White with a pin with it. I want to... I think I've seen pins come with pops in the past. This one seems like it's pretty small and I like that they have the little birdie on her hand as a metallic as well. Um, this one reminds me of actually um, something that Disney did not that long ago with their plushes. Um, they did a kind of like a monochrome Mickey that looked really cool where it wasn't completely black and white. Um, but it was kind of more of like a classy look um, that referred back to kind of its original origins and that was really cool. I think Snow White was a good one to pick because she was the original Disney princess. Um, she was the first animated movie really period in America as far as I remember and um, especially in color. Her whole movie was a huge deal that it was in color. So I like that they did this little throwback. Next we have the box lunch exclusive Tiana um, huge, huge improvement from the original Tiana. Miles better. In fact, this should have been the original Tiana. I'ma say it. The other one didn't need to be made. This one, and then maybe a version of her in her white outfit would have been incredible as an exclusive. Um, especially if they did it diamond or metallic or anything like that, or even glow. Oh my gosh, that would have been so pretty. I really wish they did that instead. Um, but for this specifically, I love this pop. Um, I think it represents so much of her movie. I do kind of wish they did a little bit more to the actual base stand on it, but overall, huge improvement. Her hair looks incredible. Her outfit looks incredible. Um, I like that they have the pot with her. And I love that if you actually look at her picture, it is a reference to her almost their song. That's incredible um, that they included that tiny little detail. I hope that... Um, it comes through well on the individual pops themselves that the quality control stays consistent. Um, but overall, fantastic. So happy Box Lunch got this exclusive. So excited. And last but certainly not least, the one that I think most people are the most excited about. Is that redundant? We're not going to worry about it. The Diamond Ariel Hot Topic exclusive. I am sure this is going to be a hot item. Um, she looks great. She looks great. Um, I kind of wish they didn't just reuse the same mold, but the mold was, it's its a solid mold. It's pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. Um, they have her and um, Sebastian, 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 I think. I don't know why, but I can't remember names today. I'm usually a thousand times better, I promise. Um, but they have her and him sitting on the rock in on the little coral right there and it looks amazing it does i'm so excited to get this pop are you guys excited to get this pop let me know what you are thinking i do want to include that they released a four pack of i think it's pens um and they have cinderella beauty and the beast um the little mermaid and mulan now what i find very interesting is these look like older molds that they have and they haven't released a bell 
pop for this collection or a Mulan pop. So maybe they're going to be including that in their next round for this collection. Is this the end of the collection? I'm not sure, but they do look like older designs that they have for pops. They also have two Funko HQ, Funko Hollywood exclusive and online exclusive, I believe it is, um, tangled shirts. They look great. The fabric on them looks a little f looks a little funny it looks like one of those um shirts with like kind of a slippery slash shiny kind of sheen to it on it and i don't know if i necessarily like the print on that fabric i think it can make it look a little tacky a little cheap and i've had experiences where the actual um print itself cracks uh, when it's on that kind of fabric so I'd like to see it in person, honestly, or see somebody get it before I get it. But um, both of de these designs, I love Tangled. It's one of my favorite Disney movies. Um, both of these designs do look pretty solid. I would probably lean more towards the second where she's on the boat. They also have these four little plushies. They have Belle, Ariel, um, Rapunzel, and Jasmine. Um, they're pretty cute. I don't think I'm going to be picking them up, but I'm sure there will be many little girls that love them. All right, guys, that's all I've got for today. I know it's something a little bit different, um, but I really like this line. I wanted to review it, um, even if I don't have it in hand yet. Um, what do you guys think of this line? I think the boxes for this line are absolutely beautiful. I am obsessed. Um, I think I mentioned it in a previous video. Um, one of my favorite boxes I've actually ever seen that Funko has created um, between the gold emblem, emblem? um that they have for the numbers um in the pink and purple gradient um in the kind of glowy feel it has i think it's very very cool let me know if you guys like this kind of video i'm happy to do more um i have a lot of pops as you can see my collection has grown a good bit which by the way i now have enchantress i have enchantress right here from the beauty and the beast i think it's 30th 30th yes um i think it's 30th anniversary She's incredible. I love her character, especially in the new movies too. Um, and I also have my um, Emerald City Comic Con Belle as well. But yeah, I have a lot of pops that I want to get that I don't have yet um, that have been out for a while and it's gonna be taking me a while to acquire. <laughs> So if you guys have any pops or lines that you want me to review, go ahead and let me know. If you haven't already, go ahead and check me out on Instagram. We are almost to 500 followers. It's amazing. And also, thank you guys so much for joining my channel. This is incredible. There are now 400 plus of you guys. I'm so happy you're here. Um, go ahead and leave a comment, a like, a sub if you haven't already. And I just want you guys to always remember you are loved. You are valued and you are enough. That's it. Bye!